Hello, friends. Welcome to Coding Garden. We have some sad news. Lucia, the auth framework for backend JavaScript and TypeScript, is being deprecated. So there is an issue on the Lucia repo by the maintainer, Pilcrow on paper, and they talk about how they are going to be completely deprecating the library. Now, this for a lot of people, like it just it, for a lot when they hear this, they're like, what? I just added Lucia into my app. I, I built an app and I'm like dependent on Lucia. What do you mean it's going to be deprecated now? Ultimately, it's gotten to the point where the library itself has become very hard to maintain. And the maintainer mentions that when they're implementing auth in their own apps, they don't even use the Lucia library itself. Now, it's important to note that the author, Pilcrow on paper, is also the author of lower level authentication and, and authorization and security related packages. If you're even if you're adding Lucia to an app right now, I think you'll still be fine because there are multiple implications. Somebody could decide to fork it and maintain that fork. Also, the Lucia code that you add into your application doesn't touch a lot of the other stuff. It requires a lot of manual configuration that you could have implemented off yourself to begin with, which is which is what I'll talk about as well. So Pilcrow on paper is also the author of Arctic. So this is a library that allows you to do OAuth inside of your JavaScript applications, and it's really good. And you can use this uh, in conjunction with Lucia, and Lucia, Lucia like uses this under the hood. And they're also the author of Oslo, which is other auth related utilities. So this has utilities for working with cookies, utilities for encrypting, utilities for working with JSON web tokens, for doing OAuth, password hashing, C surf, like all of the things that you typically need to do when you're implementing authentication and an authorization, this library has it. And this library is not going away. Pilcrow on paper is going to keep maintaining this library. And essentially their whole idea is instead of trying to have a full on auth solution, they are going to have basically a guide for auth. They're going to create a, a website that talks about how to implement auth and then potentially has a lot of like copy paste examples that use libraries like this that are tried and true and tested and do the specific things that you need. But by doing doing that, now every application's implementation of auth can be more fit for purpose and do the things that they want to do instead of Lucia needing to be a one size fits all auth solution. And so if you take a look at the link here, he has an early preview of it where basically it's just going to be a resource, a resource for uh, working with auth. Yeah. And that, that's what a lot of people have com compared it to me. So is Shadsy in for auth. So if you look at some of the replies in the issue here, what about uh, Lucia init similar to Shadsy in which implements the session logic, but just like copy paste the code, like instead of actually like installing the Lucia library, it installs all of these sub dependencies or something like that. And I would be cool with that. That's completely fine. But a diamond is mentioning it's already bare bones. That is that's my take already. When I heard this news, I was like, it's not that big a deal because so I implemented Lucia into three different applications. And every time I was like, OK, well, that was easy enough, but I kind of could have just done this myself. Like I, I have enough experience and I've worked in enough applications that I know what's required to implement off. I know that I shouldn't implement my own encryption functions like I know that I should reach for tested libraries and libraries that are secure to do those types of things. But at the end of the day, when you're actually implementing auth yourself, it's kind of just like puzzle pieces. It's kind of just like taking all of the things that handle cookies or all of the things that handle encryption or encoding, and then just putting them all together in a specific way that works with your application. And so that was my experience with Lucia. I was like, yeah, it's fine. But at the end of the day, I could have just done this myself. And in the most recent app that I was implementing with Lucia, which was a Hono app, I added Lucia in, but ultimately I didn't want to be using cookies for auth because a lot of times when you build an API that doesn't just have one client and it's not living on the same domain, you can't do your authorization with cookies because those cookies will not work across domain. So you actually do need something like JSON Web Tokens. And so when I added Lucia in, I, I kind of like copy pasted all their example Hono code in was like, well, yeah, well, then I don't need the sessions and I don't need the cookies. I, I could have just used a, a standard JWT library to generate the token and then just set it on the header. Like I didn't actually need the full Lucia library. So I actually don't think this is that big of a deal. I think even if you're implementing Lucia in your app today, the, the amount of code that you have to add in anyways uh, makes it so that it was a custom implementation. And so that if some fork comes along, let's say somebody comes along and they're like, OK, we like Lucia in its current implementation and we're going to keep maintaining it. Ideally, it would just be like a, a drop in replacement, right? So ideally, you could just replace the package name and it just keeps working with all the stuff that you're already using it for. One of the main things that the maintainer mentions is that the database adapters had significant complexity. So one of the things that people typically want with an auth package is they wanted to just write the users and read the users from their database automatically. And that requires some sort of adapter. But there's a lot of different types of ORMs and, and databases that people use, right? So like Prisma and Drizzle are pretty popular uh, in our world, but also you might be using like MongoDB or Mongoose, or maybe you're using like the native driver or something like that. And so in order to maintain this number of adapters that are like zero config, you literally just pass in the adapter. And as long as your database has the same schema that it's expecting, it's 
it's able to insert users, read users, validate user passwords, that kind of thing automatically. That's where a lot of the complex code is. And ultimately, that code could just be moved into your code base, right? So the, it, it, the, like the library could essentially provide a callback that says user valid. Now, inside of that function, you can look them up in your database or you can like validate their password or hash their password or something like that. And that way, the library itself doesn't have to actually maintain these database adapters that are doing all of that work for you. And it actually reminds me of Passport.js. So I don't know if you all remember Passport, but whenever you implement Passport, Passport did not have database adapters. Passport always just had callbacks where it was up to you to insert the user into the database. It was up to you to hash the password. And so every single one of their strategies just gave a, a callback where you implement the work. There were like user land libraries, like third party libraries that you could plug into Passport that would handle this logic if you were using that specific type of database and your uh, tables had that specific structure. But almost every app I implemented Passport in, I wrote this callback function from scratch and just inserted the user into my database in, in the way that I needed to. So ultimately, you have time. Uh, Pilker on paper is saying that it's going to be deprecated early next year. So you have a few months. And from there, they're still going to be maintaining libraries that are used for auth and maintaining a resource that will tell you how to implement auth. So I think what it will look like is once the library is deprecated, Pilcrow will create some sort of guide that says, how do you go from an app that was implemented with Lucia to an app that is implemented on my own using all of these various libraries? And so you could just think of that as another version bump or another migration where instead of pulling things in directly from Lucia, you're now going to be pulling them in from these various libraries and then updating your app accordingly. So I don't think it's that big a deal. I think you're going to be OK. And there are other auth solutions. Uh, there is a really good reply in the issue here that just gives a list of all the potential ways that you could implement auth. So first of all, you could use an auth platform. So instead of adding it into your own code base, there's all these platforms and open source tools that you can host yourself that are basically like user management, identity management, and then you don't have to have the auth code yourself. But then beyond that, probably the biggest competitor and the thing that's probably going to do the best in the JS ecosystem is a library called auth.js. And a lot of people will potentially migrate to this. Now, I, I believe it's still in it's in beta. It's not officially a stable release yet, but they're getting there. And it supports a lot of different frameworks and people have built adapters for other frameworks as well. So going forward, auth.js is probably going to be the main solution that a lot of people reach for. Better auth is a newer one, but this is their attempt to implement something that's like framework agnostic like auth.js, but in a slightly different way. So better auth is potentially something to look out for as well. So you'll have options. I don't think it's the end of the world. And open source is hard. <laughs> open source is very hard. So I absolutely feel for Pilker on paper, like feeling just overwhelmed with potentially the amount of issues or the amount of maintenance that needs to be done. Give them some slack because it's not going to be that bad. And also like auth doesn't have to be that hard. I think ultimately where it's going to create developers that know more about how to implement auth and all of the parts and pieces. Is auth.js not next auth? They are. So auth.js comes from the same people that gave you next auth. And so next auth has been the standard for authentication in Next.js for a very long time now. It's it's stable. People use it. But next auth version five officially will be auth.js, but that's still in beta. So if you look at their Next.js package right now, if you were to use auth.js instead of the official next auth package, you need to install the beta. Uh, but it is currently in beta. It's not stable. If you And this is version five. If you install version four, that's the stable one that is specific just to Next.js. OK, so that's all I have to say about that. Show all of your support for Pilcro and yeah, go sponsor them because they maintain Lucia right now. They're also maintaining all of these other auth libraries. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for watching. Okay.